so this was really cool also this is a really really cool so somebody on a uh, Berghain subreddit basically posted this really 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 what I think nice message regarding a DJ called Vincent Newman who's been playing over the weekend and you know basically has a really nice words to say about him and just how he basically you know um, did the job there at Berghain and I think for me this is what what can I say this is what I feel like um this is my point in why I feel like sometimes I have a really love-hate relationship with the scene. Love-hate relationship with the scene. Love-hate. Because in some ways, I feel like I try my best to be like the consummate fan. Like if I'm a fan of somebody, I want to let them know that I'm a fan of them. Like I would say something. I mean, I'm, I, I, I want to be like a fan and let you know how much I appreciate what you do. But then in some cases, especially in dance music scene, people are really sometimes can be too cool for school they can be really up their own ass which is i thought really weird because i've always seen as much as i love djing and myself i've been a dj for like 10 plus years and i love djs myself i listen to mixes all the time i'm going to different clubs i'm traveling the world to visit to visit different clubs and to go to different parties and meet different people and take part in that community side of things i also think to be completely honest that djs may be at the bottom of the entertainment ladder in terms of like skill and stuff right essentially we're all going out there and playing other people's music even if we've got our own productions you're not playing that all the time but you're playing other people's music for the most part so i never understood the attitudes because part of me thinks you know if harry styles who i bumped into randomly at flipping the alibi one time and um, was nice enough to like have a conversation and offer to buy me and my friends flipping shots and stuff right if he was nice enough to stop and speak to everybody in that flipping basement bar then why is some dj that's playing in fabric acting like they're too cool for school and they can't say hi i never understood that um no one's expecting them to kind of you know listen to your flipping whole life story but just the lack of highs the lack of acknowledging comments especially the comments that's annoying when you see a really popular dj and you go to the latest post and they've got tons of comments especially questions asking about whatever songs playing in the background of the video or just asking them questions in general and they've got no replies they've got no likes nothing they just don't engage they just upload one has received love and likes and engagement but don't ever give nothing back i feel that's really stinky so this is the complete opposite of it somebody um went to berghain and saw vincent newman playing and look at the experience that they wrote they wrote a review of it on reddit they said the following i wanted to share a cute moment from last night i went from i went for the opening because i wanted to see vincent newman and there wasn't many people there but i got up to the pod but to the podest next to the dj booth and started dancing vincent saw me and grabbed my hands and we both smiled at each other it was such a cute moment for me because i've never had an interaction with like that with a dj while they were playing at berghain i guess he's a humble guy and vincent newman decided to screenshot this comment and said thank you everyone who sent this to me and then the next comment I think was really, really important here. It says, this interaction for me um, is very essential and a part of what makes DJing great. I'm interested in connecting with people on the floor, not in a I'm the star up here, you plebs are down their way. And yeah, I'm a humble person because I've been very lucky and privileged to experience these beautiful moments. And I'm reminding myself every time that this is not something to be taken for granted. This is why for me personally, Vincent Newman, I'm going to be a fanboy is here forever he's one of he's like I'm, yeah, I'm your fan forever much like when I first bumped into you know flipping um much when I first bumped into Dixon and um at a party that me and my friend went to ages ago in Bethnal Green and they were nice to just the first occasion even though we were drunk and asking for pictures and shit I've been we've been fans of those guys ever since it's the same way I can be a fan of those guys ever since too all it takes all it takes all it takes is a real little 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 bit of acknowledgement and this is what changes an interaction it really does change it. and again i don't think this is a normal situation because i assume in what the what the poster was talking about they arrived early at burger and it wasn't too full vincent acknowledged the person it was like a kind of in the moment sort of thing but i'm not expecting vincent newman to get out behind a dj booth and go and start hugging and kissing everybody on the dance floor that's insane but just the acknowledgement of understanding that people are here to see you they're fans of you um acknowledging their presence saying hi all these kind of things go a long way and also just the idea that as we are knowing from what i played over the weekend i've mentioned at the start of the podcast like you know i'm playing in bars and pubs and stuff right i'm kind of on my way up kind of trying to trying to go up the flipping ladder but it's still a grind but for the most part most people have come up on that grind too playing in bars and pubs playing in lounge bars playing at art galleries like you know spaces where people don't really care that you're there but then over time, maybe a production, maybe a co-sign, maybe a label night, something happens and it kind of pops and you kind of 
grow up and then suddenly you're playing in actual clubs and it becomes a little bit more fun but the bot the, the kind of early stages are not the greatest right you're kind of grinding a little bit but everybody's got that experience so you'd imagine if everyone's got that experience there'd be a little bit of understanding and less kind of pompous attitude and acting better than because you know how many people you played alongside or with who didn't make it who are really good just because they just you know it's just a really hard industry to kind of break into so you'd be kind of grateful for what you have but they don't they're really a bit strange and they act a bit bizarre about it, even super entitled so i feel like when you do meet a dj who is kind of decent and nice it's nice to see this but 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 i also think in my head to be completely fair to them the ones that are cunts i can understand also and i can think in general maybe for it's better because i've adopted this mindset going forward anyway in my life in general because i had some very you know i wouldn't say unpleasant but just annoying interactions with people and dms and stuff you're like you know what this is annoying because now I can't ever listen to anything you do again. Like you're basically dead to me, even though I really liked what you did um, because I just can't, you know, I'm not somebody that supports people, like, especially if I reach out to somebody. It's just, just weird anyway. So I think a new rule that people should maybe abide by is that maybe people should learn to detach the person from the art that they like and just enjoy what the person makes and just become like a fan that way of like, hey, I like what you do in terms of the art that you make and the, the entertainment you provide. But anything else outside of it, your personality, I don't care anything about. I think that might be the actual best way to kind of deal with these things. So you then you're never disappointed if somebody doesn't want to take a picture, doesn't reply back to your DMs, leaves you unseen, blah, blah, blah doesn't engage all that sort of stuff will, will not feel as personal because you just treat them like the artist and just leave it like that if they have a meet and greet you can go whatever and that will be it but everything else you kind of have to just leave to the buy side because i think for the most part these guys can be cunts but when they're nice like vincent newman i think is really good to highlight so big up vincent newman for acknowledging fans um for being a man of the people and for me this will be solid this solidifies him as one of my favorite djs even though i haven't flipping seen him play before i don't care this is absolutely beautiful and a nice little moment that happened there and you know if it's not for reddit this will just been a personal thing that this person just experienced so the fact that we get to see and you get to share this and we hear about it is also nice and just kind of i, I think in general just kind of gives people a good vibe because sometimes Bergheim people can have a bad reputation because it's a bit ultra serious in there but it's nice to see djs that play in there are appreciative of people that come that queue up outside because the queue outside usually to get into absolutely insane especially if it's a really popular night the ones coming up in flipping you know for easter in april are going to be crazy so the, that acknowledgement is flipping nice to see it's great 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 to see that um from them because you know i feel like it's a it's, a, it's like a it's like a flipping back of, it's like a symbiotic relationship isn't it, in some way shape or form without without them we can't dance without us they can't play you know we should kind of be together on this situation we should be together but hey what do i know <laughs>